Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 15 of Let's Play Aleph, the hardcore D&D style CRPG made in RPG Maker. We're 6 hours and 41 minutes in, hope you guys and gals are doing well. Let's go ahead and get into it. So last episode, we uh, did some fun stuff. I'm going to turn me down here. Um... We upgraded with some runes. Uh, Matthew now has the ability of wind. Uh, his attacks imbue the wind element that can cause tear. Uh, let's see what else happened. Um, Liss, her attacks are imbued with water that can cause drown. Plus, she has a, even more of a magic shield due to the rune of magic shield. We can still augment, right? Or did we augment pretty much? If I can augment Seer Strike, Spider Web increases damage and causes slow. That'd be a good idea, but let's see what else we can. Um, we can put a Lizard Skin there. Increase amount of HP recovered. Let's see, our, our, our ice is taken care of. Um, fireball's taken care of. Um, did I not... use the spell scrolls? Yeah, we still have a lot of spell scrolls to use. Um, I'm gonna wait until we get back to Freehold to do all that, because I'm gonna put Sir Cuthbert in the party. So today, we're done exploring Arma pretty much. We're out of money. Let's go ahead and head in here, which is like the main castle, house armor. What was that? A chocolate cake. Um, skill trainer. Oh, we didn't leave any money for skills. Um, what if I were to say strength? Oh, we have a little bit of money. How do I pick a different person, though, is what I'm wondering. Um... Why does it have to be me? Berserk offensive stance... Yeah, I want to get some more stuff, but I'm trying to th see if there's some kind of way. Do I have to maybe put them at the top of the formation? No, can't. It would seem weird that he's the only one that can get skills. Hmm. But in any event, let's uh, continue here. Some confections. Um, let's come over here. Arm and guard. Um, someone in here. Scroll of Quake. Mariah Wright, a deceptively beautiful woman. She is predominantly covered in mages' robes. Clasped to her soldiers the insignia of the House of the Fallen. Isn't it House of the Fallen Knight? If you have business with King Richard, he is in the throne room. Bookcase. Oh, we can take a look at it. The Grimoire Part 6 might be new. So we'll grab that. Seems to be a little slow down on this map, maybe because it's so large. Hmm. An anvil. A platinum ingot. Would love to take that, but alas. Oh, it was the anvil that can make necklaces, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Why did I... Huh. Okay. Alright. Fair enough. 
what is that? Decorative sconce. So King Richard is here, actually. So this is the King's Castle. I didn't quite realize that at first. Door is locked. Oh, I didn't mean to use the skeleton key. No. Oh, we can actually take all this. That is hilarious. Oh my gosh. If we could actually take all this. I don't know what it all is. There could be some interesting stuff here. But I'm not going to steal from the king, even though... Using the, uh... Skeleton key kind of gave me possession of everything in there. So we can't do any skill trainer. can talk to Mariah again. Just to say that we did it. Oh, that is funny. And now they're different. We don't have that book anymore. So bookshelves are indeed randomized. So at least we see what the skeleton key can be used for. For being naughty. Cooking kit. Sack. Empty bottles. Meat, a lit fire. Alright. Arm and guard. Looks like the king's bedroom. He's got a chocolate cake. Nice bed. Ink. King's cup. It is not colored. For some reason. Could be interesting. Bookshelf. Um, transcribed hail gear. The infinite library. I'm not sure if we have that. I think we do though. Now we have two copies of it. And this bookshelf. Um, Grimoire Part 6, Grimoire Part 5. Okay. The King's Cup, huh? Well, the King is in the room over. Quite a grand castle here. Okay, let's head in. statue, some basic guards, here's King Richard, let's go ahead and save first, talk to him, King Richard III, broad of shoulder and thick of chest, the king is an imposing figure, clad in fine red silk, upon his crown is the insignia of the House of the Fallen, I think it's House of the Fallen Knight, but, talk, Matthew the Seer, at long last, the light be good. I warn you, Seer, your arrival comes at a most perilous time. Emboldened creatures wander the land. The Aleph of Glianessa heralds the return of Anathema. And I fear the first wizard of the House of the Scroll is seeking to undo what has been done thirty years past. He wishes to retrieve the seven keys that will unlock the ebon bones. There is no good or right reason for him to do this. He can't destroy them. He can't banish them. They can only be used for great evil. If he gets a hold of the bones, then the lights save us all. The seers have always been loyal to the king of the realm. I ask you now, do you pledge loyalty to the crown of the fallen knight? I am loyal to the crown. That is excellent to hear. It is wonderful news to hear that the first seer in decades is a loyal subject of the realm. With the worshippers of the Dark Father seeking out the keys, the only way to ensure their safety is to retrieve them first, before the cult can get their fell fingers around them. Speak with Mariah Wright, Keeper of the Seals. She can give you whatever information she can about the locations of the keys. Stop Anathema from returning, Seer, and we shall all be forever indebted to you. I also grant you access to the castle treasury, should you find anything that might be of use to you on your journey. It is yours. Oh. Why does it say Lost Skeleton Key? That's from before, okay. Wow, so they give us access anyway, which means I may be able to get some scrolls after all. Or some skills. 
Let's talk to Mariah. This is awesome. As you know by now, the seven keys that unlock the Ebon Bones are scattered throughout the realm. Each one must be retrieved. Some will be easier to get than others. There's a great deal I can tell you. Speak with me when you wish to know more. Hmm. <clears throat> I wonder if, like, this will be written in the journal. What would you like to know more about? Where do I find the seven keys? Each of the seven keys lies at the heart of a dangerous dungeon. Which would you like to know more about? Okay, so this seems to put them maybe in their order of strength. I'm not sure. Lethargus. The bone key lies at the bottom of this very old crypt. For a stalwart seer such as yourself, this is perhaps the simplest key to retrieve. Skeletons and zombies roam most of the halls. Dangerous in large groups, but, over but overall not overly difficult to overcome. <clears throat> as you descend, you will find more dangerous forms of undead, including the abomination zone known as Zombie Hulks, the reanimated corpses of trolls. Caution will need to be taken near the bottom level where the liches reside. If you are not confident in your ability to defeat them, then do your best to avoid them entirely. A strong physical defense is recommended for most of the encounters you will have throughout. A strong magic defense will be required if you hope to fight off liches. Bringing a cleric would be most prudent. There are whispered stories that the ancient warlord that sacked Airman Keep, Keep to the west resides somewhere in the depths of Lethargis. And more troubling is the hushed tale of a pit fiend that has taken up residence somewhere in the bowels of the crypts. Though I can't speak for sure on this, but if this is true, it would be best if you be best if you run and run fast. Apotheo, the embodiment of apathy, has taken up residence by the key in hopes of Anathema's return. Brace yourself against earth attacks here. Apotheo is a creature most foul, but like most creatures, he has weaknesses. Wield the winds themselves to overcome this adversary. So she gives a lot of info, but unfortunately... We're gonna have to, like, write it down in real life, I think. Because we're not... Really... Um... Like, there's nothing we can... There's no journal we can write it down in. Huh. What is the point of the journal, then, I wonder? And the parchment paper? Field items. Is there any point at all? Parchment paper. Hmm. To the journal. There's got to be some way to use that journal. It wouldn't be in the game. System? No. but rather than have her tell us everything I mean we can always come back to Arma after we do each dungeon to kind of get the skinny on the next one because it's going to be a little weird if we just listen to all about the seven dungeons now and we forget everything pile of gold 375 potion of great health great health great health great health great health I guess we can take everything I don't know, should we take everything? Torches. Round bread. Iron longsword. Platinum longsword? Platinum sword that's about four feet long. The pommel has a triangular edge designed in it. Iron. Iron Spear, Iron Warhammer, Iron Battle Axe. Wow. 
More potions of great health. Potions of minor mana. A leather cloak. A wooden staff. A white wood staff that's been warped into the shape of a sickle. Some leaves are still attached to the wood. Ham. Nice. Ham is good. A cloth robe. A... Iron breastplate. We'll just take everything. And then sell what we can't use. Can't believe we found a platinum longsword. Alright, let's go ahead and check that thing out. <clears throat> oh, we're using damnation though. Yeah, it's not going to be an upgrade. Hilt was wrapped in thick white leather. Hmm. This, maybe? Are you using Aver's Barong, which has a chance to stun enemies? Ah, maybe Sir Cuthbert, I don't know. Um. Save and Final Two. We kind of know what to expect in Lethargis. It might be time to head to Lethargis. Let's go see what this King's Cup is about. Do you have any words on it? Can I get through there, sir? Unless you're guarding the cup. If you're guarding the cup, I will leave you alone. Uh -huh. King's Cup, the Royal Chalice of the King. I don't think we'll be able to take this, but... Pick up. Now what do we do with the King's Cup? Um, we'll just look at all... King's Cup. Hmm. I don't have a good feeling about taking it, so I'm not going to take it. Yes, it's uncolored, but I just don't trust it. Ink, quill. Yeah, we have ink, quill, and parchment. We know what that's for, but... Hmm. So we know about Lethargis. Um, I don't think I'm ready to dip into these places yet. Anything else to help against Anathema? Perhaps you may have heard of these items already, perhaps not. There are three ancient relics, which by themselves are merely old objects, but in the presence of Anathema they unleash great magic. The Horn of Altruism, the Bowl of Benevolence, and the Cross of Devotion. I do know about them. But take great care, Seer. Each of these is guarded by primal lieutenants of Anathema. These ancient dragons are far stronger than any others. It is my advice that you seek these objects only after you have learned to harness your own abilities and perhaps mastered the principles of the Aleph's. Um, where can I find the Spell of Annihilation? The scroll of annihilation was split into seven segments and hidden across the realm. Where these segments are, I do not know personally. However, there's a man who lives in Incunessa. His name is Ty. He is a monk and holds great wisdom. He could tell you where to look, but take great care, seer. The scroll of annihilation is not to be trifled with. Although it can cause grievous injury to anathema, it can also sow ruin in the world if misused. Right. She's not telling us anything too new. What are the principles? Without question, mastering the principles and seeking the blessings of the Aleph's offer the best protection against Anathema and any other threats you encounter. 
May the teller, an old acquaintance of mine, can tell you more about how to increase your standing with the principles. She resides in your great house of the Aleph, as I am sure you know. Once you have achieved the summit of each principle, seek out the respective Aleph stones. Each will grant you a blessing. Each blessing protects you from different kinds of magics and effects. If you master all seven, you'll achieve a very rare blessing indeed, that of Aleph Mastery. With such power, Anathema will be hard-pressed to thwart your efforts. Cool. Alright, so... Pretty sure we're done here. Um... Is that a potion of... Great mana? No, it's minor health. Alright, we can try for skills again. See if we want to buy any skills. Let's try Gambic Intelligence. Let's try Agility. Okay, we have quite the... Quite the list here that we can buy. Double Strike, Triple Strike... Hidden Knife, damage based on the user's agility, instantly attacks an enemy. Steal a random uh, item. Knife Throw, deals da high damage to all enemies. First Aid is probably instantaneous, right? Doesn't say that. Heals a party member for a small amount of health. Healing is based on the user's agility, rather than intelligence. Triage, heals for moderate. Disable lowers the enemy's luck and agility, inflicts sluggish. Stealth drastically lowers the chance the user will be targeted by enemies, increases user's strength. And tactics instantly increases the user's focus. That's for 350. Um. I think I'll go ahead and get. Hidden knife instantly attacks an enemy. Oh, so you do get to pick. Beautiful. Uh, let me buy it. Did I buy it? I think I did. But the thing is, we have to equip all these. Where's hidden knife? There it is. It takes focus. Okay. So. 15 focus. Let's, um... Oh, I don't know. Instead of... Wizard's Eye, let's take... Oh, we don't have to pick it? Oh, yes, we do. Hit a knife. 15 focus. Um, let's also get something... Well... kind of like those skills that we have. Um, I want to get something for Liss, but I guess I can do that in Airman because we are going to return to Airman. I kind of have to look back and see what was said to me in Airman. I don't remember what the people there said to me, sadly. I just am so occupied with a million different things in this game that it's kind of hard to remember every little detail as badly as I want to. But let's go ahead and do this. We're going to head back to Freehold. Um, oh wait, we can mark and recall here. Let's go ahead and mark. Location marked. Cool. And let's um, go home. Get Sir Cuthbert in the party. Check in on things at home. Nice. Yeah, there was some slowdown in that castle because we're moving much faster now. Um. Oh, has the castle expanded? Maybe no. The Vanguard, a strong knight wearing the tabard of the House of the Fallen Knight. Why is he called the Vanguard? That's Sir Cuthbert. We do have an anvil here, too. Um, I think that's Sir Cuthbert.
As always, an honor to, to see you again, my seer. Um, you may join me. It would seem that you currently travel with the f steward. Brendan can perhaps rearrange the roster. There we go. Um, and you are Stuart Brendan. Greetings, my lord. How may we be of service? Um, leave a party member here. Oh, wait, never mind. First, let's <coughs> come up and level up Kyle. My lord, it's always good to see you. All of your mercenaries are presently training hard and are ready to be used in battle. Oh, so he's already leveled up. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and say bye to Halot there. He is our main healer, but Sir Cuthbert is a stronger fighter. Well, that wooden staff is not bad for intelligence. Let's leave him with an iron warhammer. Um, and anything we have augmented. Let's unaugment it. Can I remove an augmentation? I guess not. Once it's augmented, it's in there for good. Alright. Alright. Who would you like to remain behind? The cleric. Very well, kind seer. Lothar will remain here until you have need of him once more. Okay. And he appears in here. That's cool. The vanguard. You may join me. The steel of my blade is strong, seer. I shall not fail you. Sir Cuthbert, level 10, vanguard. Alright, let's check out his status. Can we level him up? He's got 45 points, yeah. He comes with high strength, good HP, and high defense. Not so much in the way of intelligence. Or MP. Huh. So, we do lose the cleric. I want to keep Midnight because Midnight is a strong combatant for us. But maybe it's time to retire Midnight. And put Lothar back in here. Midnight did very well for us. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and put Lothar back in. We can use the full party control a little bit more. Oh, I hate to leave him behind, but it's really for the best. Let's me keep my healer. The light be praised, I shall not fail you. Okay. Let's do our formation. I like list down there. I like Sir Cuthbert here. Alright, let's deck out Sir Cuthbert. Um, let's see. Probably Smasher. No, Thurster. Chanted wooden hammer. Yeah, it raises his uh, intelligence and resistance a bit. I well, he doesn't really need intelligence, but we're, we could give him some intelligence. Thurster's not a very strong weapon for him, though, in terms of damage dealt. Platinum would be better. For now, let's give him a Platinum Longsword. 38 strength, extra 4 luck. Um, an Iron Spell Shield. Help ward off magic attacks. Gives him 5 more MP, 5 more resistance. I don't know, the Wooden Targe. Five, he'll lose 5 defense and 2 agility and 20 HP. 
keep the wooden targe on. Iron chainmail tunic. Um. He's a vanguard, so he should wear that. We can give him... Oh, we have to get him new iron gear. So let's do this. Let's go to our anvil, which is so conveniently placed here. And... See what we can make. We'll have to make some ingots. We have five ingots, okay. Let's see here. Is there armor? Okay, Iron Soldier Shield is interesting. Um, oh, we can't look at what it does first. An Iron Kite Shield. Seems like Soldier Shield would be the way to go. He's probably going to lose more intelligence, more resistance. Um... It would take four ingots. Let's save. Let's file two, and let's do some crafting. Let's make a few more ingots. Let's see what all we can make. Um, iron chainmail helm. Or we can go ahead and give him, like, the... Huh, can only make chainmail. That's weird. Can't make the heavier um, iron stuff. That is odd. Uh, let's go ahead and get him an iron chainmail helm. Oh, we only have one leather straps. We have to go get more leather straps. Oof. So we should probably make the Iron Soldier Shield. Mm -hmm. huh. What about a saw? Make a better shield. Blackwood Targe. Okay. Um, let's see what else we have for him first. Tunic, boots, platinum chainmail boots. We picked those up. Loses one agility, but gains six defense, 28 HP. Five luck. Okay. Cloak. Go ahead and give him... Leather, 14 HP, 3 defense, 1 agility, 1 luck. We have to get him something there. He can wear the Rune of Poison. His attacks can cause poison. Um, and let's equip a lot there with, I think he was using Smasher, which can cause slow. This raises his intelligence, however, and has a better attack on it. Um, let's go with, oh wait, Smasher's one-handed though. So he can then equip that for five more resistance. Um, and five MP. I like the five MP, but I think I'm going to go Thurster. Four intelligence, two resistance, loses two agility, but gains one luck, three strength, one MP, loses ten HP. Yeah. And for the helmet, either hardened leather or cloth wizards. Let's go hard and leather and then see what Cloth Wizards brings to the table. He'd lose 10 HP, 2 defense. Yeah, he needs the defense and stuff, so we'll give him the hard and leather. Um, cloth Robe. 
5 MP, 6 HP, 1 defense, 2 intelligence, 2 resistance, 1 agility, and 3 luck. Cloth boots, 4 HP, 4 MP, 1 defense, 1 intelligence, 1 resistance, 1 luck. Um... Yep. Cloak, we'll go with the priest cloak, I believe. Very nice. Six resistance, one intelligence, one defense, one strength, five MP, four HP, one agility, six luck. Wow. No accessory still. And then for Sir Cuthbert. Go ahead and give him the Leather Helm for now. 10 HP, 2 Defense, 1 Resistance, 2 Luck. Um, but I could either make him the Iron Chainmail Helm, or make him the Iron Soldier Shield. But if this is any indication, he's going to lose a lot of agility. He's going to lose... Somehow lose defense, maybe? I don't know. HP, we'll see. We'll save. We'll make it. This is awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and make the... I think the soldier shield is more worthwhile than the helm. I think we can buy the helm. I haven't really seen the soldier shield for sale. Boom. Plus, he's a soldier. Oh. A strangely shaped shield with protrusions to protect one's arms, knees, and head. Takes his agility to three. His defense down one. Three for strength goes up, though. Yeah, we'll put that on because of the three strength that he gains. He's at a 41 now. Uh, now, let's go ahead and level up. I have five points. Um... I'll go HP. Um, resistance, defense, intelligence, and um, resistance. Then we'll do Hlothir, who has none. Okay. Liss. Um, get that resistance up more. Uh, agility. Strength. Strength. And agility. Now let's do Sir Cuthbert. Should be pretty interesting. Let's see. Starts at a 14 strength, 7 agility. So let's go. We have 45 points to play with. Um, let's get that agility up. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, he's got 25 points left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Ten, I don't know. Fifteen points left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's only got eleven MP. Let's get a little more MP. One, two, just in case he can do something there. I don't know. One, two, one, two. One. Let's see how this looks. OK. 
Okay. He's got a whopping 51 strength. 12 agility is low. 35 defense is high. 16 resistance is okay. Luck 27 is very good. Um, 14% counter rate is nice. 6% crit rate. Um, we don't have a very magical party is what I'm worried about right now. And we have a lot of magic spells to get to. Lissa's intelligence is a 2. Sir Cuthbert's is an 8. <sighs> he is a vanguard, though. Which is a defensive, a strong shield arm. <laughs> so it looks like I'm going to have to carry the bulk of the magic. Um... Let's see. Uh, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I guess we're going to keep this now. Um, let's see what skills he has. Didn't even see what skills he has. He has Enlist, Relentless Assault. Empowers the user to allow him to unleash a series of attacks for one turn. First aid, based on agility, heals a party member for a small amount of health. Emergency treatment, instantly heals an ally for a small amount of health. Bonus health increases with level. Nothing in the spell book. And his unleash is eviscerate. Powerful strike that makes an enemy bleed heavily. Speed fix of five, whatever that means. Um... Well, might as well put Enlist on there, too. Uh, it would be good to get him more physical abilities. We could potentially augment his first aid with a lizard skin, his emergency treatment. Hit a knife. Does more damage and cause slow. Um, Seer Strike has a bat fang. It doesn't tell me what that does now, though. Hmm. Wait. There we go. That's how we do it. Drains a small amount of health from the enemy. The Seer Strike. Um... You know what? Let's take that off and actually put that on Hidden Knife. Drain a little bit of health from the enemy. And Seer Strike can cause slow and increase the damage. Okay, then we've got in the spell book Fireball. Ice is taken care of. Lizard skin increases amount of HP recovered. Um, we can go ahead and augment some of Halothir's spells. That has the lizard skin. Flash heal. Fireball can use some augmentation. Arch heal. Uh, let's give Arch heal the lizard skin to increase the amount of HP recovered. Holy. Um, can we craft some gems? Man, there's so much to stay busy with here. Okay. Dull fire gem would probably be a good idea. Um... Deals bonus damage to beasts. We could make that if we get the bat fang and the lizard skin, but... Let's 
let's see, what do we want to do? Alright, well, what we can do now is for that fireball, go ahead and make a fire gem. Additional fire damage and cause weaken to fire. And then... Since I'm kind of the wind guy, I should go ahead and use wind, but I don't think we have a wind scroll, do we? No. Huh. Well, let's augment that first before we go and do the, anything else. Augment. Fireball with the dull fire gem. Now we're out of augments and stuff, right? Yeah. Out of spider webs and skins. Oh, wait. Okay. Now let's kind of think of who we want to give these spell scrolls to. Um... I can use Arch Heal. I can use Holy. Wall of Iron has to go to Halothir. I'm gonna hang off on that one. Life 1. Um... Heal two. Meteors. Um. I'm gonna go ahead with life one rather than Halothir because Halothir is more likely to be the dead one. So I'll get life one. Um. Heal two we can give to Halothir. These I'm still unsure about. Um, I want to use Bubble. Now let's give that to Haloth here. And we'll go ahead and craft a um, Water Gem if we can. We can't. It takes water. Let's go hit the, uh... Well outside. There's our hound. There's midnight. We'll come out here. Just grab water really quickly. There we go. Water gem. Um. Boom. Alright, now let's go ahead and equip. This should be fun. See what we have to equip. Um. Wow. He only has one more slot for all that stuff that we just picked up. Oh, wait a minute empty slot. Oh no, this is, there's no skill equipped in this slot. Cure. <coughs> Holy. Archer Fumble Divinity Heal 1. Prayer. get rid of turn for right now and put um, heal two there and then for the empty slot we can put bubble all right now for me um, let's 
Let's see. I have ice, cartography, hidden knife, intervention, enlist, heal one, fireball, ultima, seer strike. If anything, I'd get rid of enlist, and I'd put like life one there. Life one we can put as needed, though. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and put life one there. Um, Sir Cuthbert can enlist for us. You know, whoops. You know who else can enlist? Our girl Liz. I don't know if she has it. Yeah, she has enlist. So she can enlist too. So I think we're good. Uh, in com oh, out of combat we can cast anything. So I can still cast create food even though I don't have it equipped. That's good. This is just for combat. So we have the instantly revives one party member. And then we have life one. So maybe intervention isn't necessary. So let's go ahead and put... I was going to put holy there. I think I'm going to go ahead and put Quake there. Or Meteors. Or Golem's Crushing Foot. Let's put... Let's do a scroll of Quake. Lothier has the higher intelligence. Let's give it to Lothier, actually. And, um... Let's get rid of Cure and throw Quake on there. Cure is very specific. It doesn't cure like paralysis or doesn't cure mute or anything like that. Just like poison and stuff. So, naturally we can use, you know, what we've got there. Um, Quake only takes 18 to cast. That's good. Uh, and finally, I want to give him Wall of Iron, but I don't know how he's going to equip it. We have to give. We have to boost up some intelligence for other party members, like Sir Cuthbert, so we can actually have other people use magic too. Let's save. Um, see how long we've been playing. Man, the episode flies by. Fifty-three minutes, guys. Can you believe that? Wow. All right, so. Pretty cool stuff, guys. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, man, we are making progress, aren't we? Uh, we have a, a legit party here. Actually, I have higher intelligence than a lot there. I didn't realize that. Probably because of that damnation sword and stuff. And the mage's cloak, but... Yeah. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of getting Sir Cuthbert. Meeting King Richard. Doing some skills... We're going to head west of here next time, but I want to, um, maybe craft a little bit more next episode, but anyway, we'll get to that. As I said, you know, if you've been watching this, you know there's so much to do that it's like a little bit overwhelming, but we'll get through it together. So thank you guys once again for sharing your time with me. Appreciate you all. Hope you're sticking with the LP and enjoying it as we continue on. Much more to come, so stay tuned. Much love, peace, and joy. Bye-bye.